Welcome back to the Outer Worlds with Rude Man. And last episode, we met with the three scientists. We have experiments for each of them to kind of rescue. Uh, but one of them mentioned he's got a Mr. Jameson that he get, forgot about in one of these buildings. Maybe dead. We don't know. We're going to try to rescue him. We decided that would be the priority for uh, this episode since there's a life involved. So here we are. What was that? I thought I heard something. Oh, there's a robot. He's probably not good. That's got to be where Mr. Jameson is. I hope he's okay. None of the robots have been good, so for some reason they can't control them. System. Sweeping the air. Yeah, he's... They got the drop on us. One down. Oh, gosh. They found another one. I wonder if I should be using power. Oh, my God. Where did he come from? And he slimed me, dang it. <laughs> they won't try that again. No, you guys okay? <clears throat> I wonder if I should be using uh, energy weapons on those robots. All right, let's go in. Did you notice the name of this place is Antibiotics? Anti-Cleo's biotics. <laughs> Antibiotics. Hey, a vending machine. We might use that. Is that a pass key? It is. That might come in handy. Sorry, gals. I got to loot first. It's always the first priority. All right, now we can get to the computer. All personnel, please report to assigned workstations. All right, messages. We need a new code for the armory lock. Use your brains. Don't write it down. How about in this order? The month of your birthday, one. How many security rotations we have per hour, two. The number of accidents we've had in this month involving the damn culture processor, three. The maximum volume in millimeters uh, of raptodon stomach acid a human being can ingest before we consider it lethal, four. So their code is one, two, three, four. Are you kidding? They're basing it on things that they think nobody would know. Sounds fine, thanks. <laughs> A bunch of morons. Well, let's see. That's the one the key went to. Let's see where this goes. Beginnings. How long has this robot been in with that thing and it still hadn't killed it? Nope, oh, something else. Can't forget the lube or whatever that was.
Well, I thought this would be a little bit more important because it was locked up behind the pass key. That's... Bathroom. Oh, somebody blew the... Someone knows how to make an entrance. Somebody blew the hell out of the bathroom wall. Marauders. They didn't get very far. Oh. Another robot. Oh, there's two of them. Well, keep working on this one. And that one. How are you guys doing? Man, this is damn near point blank. I need to figure out what takes these things down. Shotgun doesn't do it. Clean up. You're fast. Thank you. Okay, where to next? Let's see. Oh, is that cream? Let me get that cream. What's up this ladder? Access to another room, maybe? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, bunch of rooms. Oh, that's a big guy. Can't get past Take him down. Right. Oh, jeez. Man, a bad timing to be out of bullets. We may. Alligator hide. Make us some boots. That guy got tore up. Those pet pills didn't do him any good. Okay, we passed a couple computers, but I want to loot first. That one's destroyed. That one's out of commission. As is that one. Oh, there's one that's working. Get this first here. Oh, another one looks like it's working. I see that vending machine. I think I, I just picked up too much junk. Gotta get rid of it. There it is. Sell all the junk. See what kind of weapons I can get rid of. All kinds of weapons I can get rid of.
That one's pristine. I'm going to hang on to that one. That one's pristine. Don't need shovel. Yeah, we got a bunch of those. Don't need that. All right, what kind of armor can I... I get rid of the clothes. They're distinct, but I don't know when I'd ever use them. All right, let's get back to those computers, see if there's any information on them. Oh, here he is. We're coming, Mr. Jameson. You okay? What? How the hell did you get in here? What? That's your first question about being saved? First I shot the Raptodon. No, not the... I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. Oh, my God. How'd you get in? Well, your boss sent me, you dummy. Ugh. Can't use the centrifuge without supervision. Can't file reports without him double-checking their every word. Can't save myself from mortal peril. It's like he thinks I'm a child. His hands-on management style is coming to a point of contention, I tell you. Well, you guys must be just perfect for each other. You're upset that, upset that he sent me? Please. That man doesn't have an altruistic bone in his body. I just happen to have the metabolic precursors from our last test. I'd wager my last bit that if you brought back the precursors and left me for dead, Anton wouldn't bat an eye. All right, I'd have to agree with that. Uh, hand them over. Let's test that theory. What? No. Come on. There's no call for that. If the way's clear, I'll head on back. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't trust him either. All right, stay safe. What <laughs> a butthead. And I was worried about him. Seriously. This was our priority of all the stuff to save the poor guy. And what a jerk. Hey, how'd I miss that? According to my records, January 23rd is your birthday. As is protocol, please feel free to enjoy one, one, ten minute break between your normally scheduled three o'clock and four o'clock patrol shifts. I sincerely hope that on this day you take a moment to enjoy the fresh air of Terra 2, brought to you by the thorough kindness of Auntie Cleo. Nice guy. All personnel, please report assigned workstations and report a, a suspicious activity. Everyone, I'm sick and tired of cleaning bone out of the culture processor. This is the third time this month. The next employee that gets their hands stuck in that damn machine is getting written up. What? We've lost another finger to that infernal culture processor. I'm formally requesting new safety brackets to be installed as the current ones register with raptodon hide but not human flesh. This is unacceptable. 
Yeah, fix it. All personnel, please report. We've seen this before. Objective, determine the maximum amount of raptodon digestive acid that can be safely ingested by humans before adverse effects. Proposed procedure, slowly introduce increasing amounts of raptodon acid into the evening meals of randomly selected workers and observe their overall health. Minor stomach pain and nausea, safe. Minor stomach pain, extreme nausea, safe. Major stomach pain, debilitating nausea, some vomiting, potentially unsafe, in the workplace. Temporary blindness, frequent vomiting, patient unable to describe pain, unable to record symptom as patient died within the hour. My God, they experimented on their own people? Oh, we're back out here. Haven't been through there, though, I don't think. Unless that's outside. That could be outside. Yeah, this is a room that needed to pass code. Yep, that's just outside. I may have seen everything, maybe. I don't know. It's not that big a building. Yep, we're back to the start. We've been around the whole gamut, I think. Oh, I missed the gender closet. I thought I came in here. Just a little music box. Isn't that cute? You guys look so cute in your matching outfits. Might as well sell my junk while I'm here. And we're out of here. Well, let's see, what should we do? Take a look at the journal, buy his bootstraps, talk to Anton. Well, okay. I was thinking about choosing a different quest line, but uh, maybe I better go back and talk to this Anton. Anton's the one that's in charge. And it's also, if you remember, Gladys sent me to get the experiment, the, the, the information. Once I get his information on his... Uh, science, I may not want to talk to him again because I'm going to go give it to Gladys for the nav. Uh. So let's talk to him now. Oh, it's you. As if my thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? Yeah, hey, I found your guy. He's safe. Jamison. I didn't do right by him, did I? Only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. Wow, being honest. Sometimes it's easy to get caught up and forget about people. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness.
It's just that their constant complaining can begin to wear. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. It's infuriating. You're really an asshole. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. Yeah, I just keep telling yourself that. Hey, level up. Okay, well, we're off to find another of the scientists' thing. Well, we haven't found any yet. We have the three scientists' experiments to find. Oh, wait a minute. Did I go out the wrong door? I think I did. Hang on. Yeah, I'm going for the wrong thing. I want to go for the hammer. Uh, we need to go out the other door. Yeah, I want to go to that other building down there. Let's go out the other door. Antibiotics. <laughs> That's funny. Lab 13. Why Lab 13? Must be some reference there. More dead bodies. Oh, there's a live one. Not anymore. They're going to have some heavy duty cleanup on this planet. I bet they just fly away and leave everybody. see what's over the hill oh what the heck is that it looks like it's cutting trees down so it must be some terraforming uh, what's down there there's a robot down there and there's uh, troops troopers down here are those marauders I bet they are Let's give her a bigger gun. Give her an assault rifle. Yeah, she can keep that, I guess. We should give Parvati, Parvati that big hammer. I think that's... Uh, I think she's got some kind of a uh, special attack with a hammer. Alright, let's go down there. But I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm seeing... That guy's looking at a bomb. Oh, that worked. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, here he comes. Wait, wait, wait. 
I got him with the bomb. Okay, there's more guys over there. All this fresh air is making my nose itch. What? Why would it make your nose itch? He's looking out, but he's not looking the right way. Whoa! The scrap mechanical. I forget he can jump really high. Where's his head? An outlaw sniper. Oh, jeez. Oh, too late. I saw it too late. Man, that rang my bell. Oh. Gotta be careful. I'll probably run into another one. Problem is they got those yellow mushrooms around and I keep thinking I'm seeing a, uh, oh, what's this? I've been an anti Cleo man my whole life. When I got promoted to the Roseway deforestation team, I felt privileged and honored. I believed anti Cleo was going to tame the wild landscape and pave it over with civilization. Better than nature, that's your motto. I wanted to be a part of that initiative. I wanted to see Rosemary become an object of envy among corporate outposts. I wanted to wave our quarterly reports in front of every Spacer's Choice worker I've ever known and laugh in their face. I worked from dawn to dusk without a word of complaint. Now you have me working on building walls around the town. We've given up the expansion, and half the town's already been relocated. Worst of all, the VS deforestation team's been disbanded. My equipment's left to rust in the landscape. If you're reading this, then you've found my letter of resignation. I would rather make my way as an outcast living outside the law than work under these conditions. Wow. Guys devoted. Oh, hell, I almost ran right over the top of that. I thought it was a mushroom. Uh-oh. Bad guy. Where'd they come from? Get on. That's the last of them. Oh, thanks for taking care of those guys down there. I didn't even see them. All right, this must be the place. Oh, God, I did it again. Oh, I didn't see it because of the mushrooms. See, the mushrooms are yellow. Everything's yellow. All right, <clears throat> this is the place we're looking for. Okay, we're kind of running out of time. I think I'm going to rest here before we go in the building. <laughs>